Hey everybody, this is Juan from the Two Brothers Real Estate Team and today we're going to be talking about how to buy a home during a seller's market. Now, I know that of course we're going through a strong seller's market and there's a lot of buyers struggling to buy that home, okay? Struggling, struggling to find that perfect home, struggling to get their offers accepted. So in this video, I'm going to give you eight tips that's going to help you buy your home during a seller's market. All right, so let's get started. All right guys, before we get started, of course, I want you to click the subscribe button, click the bell because we're posting brand new videos every single week that's going to help you buy or sell your home during any market. Buyer's market, seller's market, balance market. All right, so again, click the link, subscribe to our channel, and let's get started with the video. All right, so tip number one is move quickly. Of course, during a seller's market, homes don't last that long on the market. So if you see something that you like, make sure that you call your realtor right away and make sure that you make an appointment to go and see the home, okay? Waiting five, six, seven days before you go and see it might be a little too late, especially on a strong seller's market. All right, tip number two is to get your realtor to actually talk to the sellers or the listing agent. Now, just even a phone call is probably more than enough, but what the realtor should be doing, a buyer's realtor should be doing, is, is trying to find what the motivation is from the seller. What's the seller's motivation to sell the home? Are they moving because they're moving out of the country? Are they, are they selling because they lost their job? And again, a lot of the times, of course, you can't really find much stuff about it, but again, it never hurts to get your realtor to call the seller's agent just maybe to find something that will probably help you win, uh, you know, in case it goes into a multiple offer. All right, now let's talk about tip number three, and that is getting pre-approved, okay? So this is super important, actually for two reasons. The first reason is, of course, getting pre-approved, at least you know how much you can afford. So you're not going to be wasting a lot of time looking at homes that you can't even afford, okay? So once you get pre-approved, at least you have a number. And once you have a number, of course, that's when you start to look for homes. So at least you know that you can afford the home. Now, the second reason why it's so important to get a, a pre-approved is because sellers, are probably going to pick an offer where the buyer is pre-approved. Why? Because they don't want to accept an offer and down the line, again, they don't get a mortgage and the whole deal collapses. So sellers definitely like buyers that are pre-approved. So it's, it's a little safer for a seller, all right? Okay, now that we talked about the first three tips, right? Like the move quickly, get to your realtor to call the seller's agent, and of course getting pre-approved, those three actually happen before you actually put an offer. Okay, now from tip number four to tip number eight is actually going to be, what are you going to do like on the actual offer, okay? When you write the offer, all right? So let's start with tip number four, which is start with the best foot forward, okay? So if you're going to put an offer, make sure that you give the best offer that you can right away, okay? Um, if you don't do that, of course, the chances of you maybe losing, uh, especially if there's a multiple offer situation, are really high because guess what? The seller is usually, well, it is going to pick the top three offers or whatever. So if you, if, if you could have gone here, but you didn't, of course, you're going to miss out because they're not even going to look at your offer, even if you could have gone a little higher or a little better offer, okay? So again, make sure that whatever offer, just give them the best offer right away. Okay, now tip number five is, of course, to put a big deposit, okay? The bigger the deposit, the better because, of course, it's telling the seller that you are maybe more serious that's, than somebody else. Okay, again, it just depends that, that, you know, most people will put about 5%, um, can you go 10%, can you go 15%, can you go 20%, again, it's up to you, all I'm saying is, the more money, or like the more, the, the, the higher the deposit, 
the, the better the offer is going to be. And of course, the sellers are definitely going to notice that. Okay, so we talked about price, right? Make sure that you give the best foot forward, the best offer you can in regards to price. We talked about the deposit, make sure that you, the, more, the higher the deposit, the better. Now we're going to talk about subjects. Now subjects means maybe you need to do an inspection, maybe you need financing, maybe you need to check the title, uh, the strata documents. Those are all subjects, okay? Now, there's two ways to make an offer better. The first one, of course, the least amount of subjects on a contract, the better it is going to be, the more attractive the offer is going to be. Of course, if you have no subjects, that's probably as sexy as it gets when it comes down to putting an offer. Now, do I um, suggest that? Of course not. I, I definitely suggest my clients to to, to put subjects. Now, if you're going to take all subjects out, of course, I tell them they, they should be talking to a lawyer, they should be talking to an accountant, they should be talking to a lender before they actually go with an offer without subjects, okay? Now, the second way that you can actually make that offer better if you cannot go subject-free is to make sure that you remove subjects as quickly as possible. So you might have a subject for inspection, and instead of having you know seven days to inspect the home, just tell them that you're going to inspect the home the next day so you can actually remove subjects the next day or two days later or three days later, okay? So there's two ways to make subjects better. One of them is, of course, having no subjects or having the least amount of subjects. The second one is make sure that it doesn't take too long to remove those subjects, okay? So those are the two ways to make that offer better. Okay, let's talk about tip number seven, and that are the dates, okay? So how do you make the dates better? Of course, you try to match whatever dates the sellers want, okay? If they want to take possession of, you know, if they want to complete in two months, try to match those dates. If they want to complete within the first, you know, the next three weeks, again, try to match those as close as possible. Okay, so how do you make the dates better? Try to see what the sellers want and give it to them. All right, and tip number eight, our last tip for this video is write a letter to the sellers, okay? So again, it's a small thing, but it can be the difference between you winning an offer and losing an offer, okay? So what you do is you actually give them the offer, right, with the, with their dates and, you know, everything that we talked about, but you also attach a letter, okay? Now, what do you talk about on that letter? You talk about you and your family and why that home is going to be the perfect home for you, okay? What is it going to do for your kids? What is it going to do for you, for your husband? Um, and then all you do is you attach it to it, okay? Again, it, it's a small thing, but think about it. If there is two exact uh, offers and the seller is picking which one to pick, choosing which one should they pick, of course they're going to probably choose the one with the letter because now there is some emotion attached to that offer instead of the other one, okay? So again, those are the eight tips to make sure that you can actually buy a home during a seller's market. Of course, if you have any questions, make sure that you comment below. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Make sure that you hit the bell so you get notifications every time that we post on the channel. And of course, if you would like to get a hold of us, you can go to www.2brosrealty.com or you can also uh, find us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, or you can even email us at thebrothers at twobrosrealty.com. All right, hopefully this helped, and I'll talk to you on the next video.